Good morning. We profess. Sunday, we profess. May 9 to the turn. We profess a pray in America, Washington, D.C. in a Thursday afternoon, 12 p.m. of May 13, 2020. shooting a brain him. Developing tonight, D.C. police looking for suspects linked to a quadruple shooting in Southeast. Four people. It happened earlier this afternoon, just a couple of blocks from Capitol Street. That makes nine shooting victims in less than 24 hours. Three people were shot in Northwest near Howard University last night. Two in Southwest close to Fort McNair. Colby Satterfield is live where this latest shooting unfolded. And Colby police there are calling this a pretty brazen shooting. Yeah, Adam, it happened before noon in broad daylight and under D.C. Police Department cameras. Police are looking for a black, black Audi A4 who they say may be the person who shot four people. We need to make sure that those individuals are held accountable for these type of brazen acts uh, that happen in our community. Words from D.C.'s Police Chief Robert Conti after four people were shot in D.C. before noon, marking a violent 24 hours in D.C. where at least nine people were shot. Well, we really can't tell what worse is because this is worse. If you're in the midst of worse, how worse can it get? The D.C. Police Department is less than two weeks into its summer crime prevention initiative that aims to reduce violence in high crime areas. Thursday's quadruple shooting happening in one of the city's target areas, which had the FBI joining the investigation. We have them working hand in hand uh, with our um, with our, uh, our detectives office. Uh, they are this is this area here is one of our summer crime initiative areas, so they're one of our partners in that as well. So I think uh, their, their presence here today is just a, a display really of the partnership that we share with them. He says partner agencies will be assisting the department in hotspots all summer, which has started out violent with homicides up 33% compared to last year. Lifelong Washingtonian Karen Settle says she believes mental health elements and trauma are to blame and need to be addressed. It's because of the unaddressed trauma. It's going to keep on happening. I'll tell you the same thing next year. Chief Conti says they will leave no stone unturned as they continue to focus on gun crime. As for the summer crime initiative, Chief Conti says they are working on building relationships with officers and members of the community. Adam. Yeah.